Stein starting at one end of the ground. He's at full forward. Hughes will do the ruck work. Phoebe and Flint off the Melbourne bench. Umpire Brian Sheehan in his first grand final gets things underway. And Deer wins in the middle, gets it down towards Schwab. The hand pass misses Kennedy and crash they go through. And that was Spalding. And the whistle's gone to free kick going to Melbourne. Sensational move, stretch on Dunstall. And the free kick taken by Love. Right up towards a full forward, a big climb by White, can't take the mark. Jackson's hand past the line, kick partly smothered. Good defence by Mew back there. He's got plenty of support. Goes back to Schwab, who was in the middle of the ground about 20 seconds ago. Away to Langford. A flying tackle gets Langford. Tuck the veteran. Gets the hand pass away. In a bit of trouble, Hawthorne. White a snap for goal, but it's offline and out of bounds on the foot. Pretty tough, and the players on edge for the start of the game, but we haven't seen the all-in brawl that has featured the start of grand final so often. It may yet come. There's Abbott, who's played every game this year. Way to Morrissey. Off to Schwab. Snap for goal, and he's kicked it. Well, Peter Schwab has won a possession in the middle, in the back line, and he's kicked the first goal. Yeah, fantastic start by Hawthorne. Always to get that early goal is... Uh... It's always very handy. Back in the middle, Dia will get the free kick. He was crashing in. There's Greg Dia towards half forward with the kick. Berriton's in front. Strong mark. Dermot Berriton. Bree is coming over his left shoulder. Starts at left. It stays left. And goes through for a minor score. Stein's going down to full forward ever so briefly. Here's the throw in. Stein's in front, battling with Dia. Stein's wins it down. Deep to get a minute go over the ball. Ayers then. Collins. Eventually Healy comes away. Wilson fumbling. Gets it across to Yates now. Just outside 50. Clever kick into the path of Lyon. That was a beautiful kick by Graham Yates. Great courage from Lyon. Last week, Gary Lyon kicked a goal from about 75 metres. This time, he's kicking from about 40. Close. And he hooked it. Well, he should have made the most of that. Yes, these players are really going to have to put their head over the ball and follow through with the kick. It's Balding. Back towards half forward for Melbourne. White reaching over the top. Stein's got a hand to it. Ayers does well in a tight situation. Lyon sharks it, though. Pulls it down towards full thought. It's bouncing free. Who's got the foot speed? Collins has. He gets back first. Claimed by Williams. Off the ground by Jackson to the outside of the boot. Through it goes for a behind. Action of plenty. Now Collins dashes out of defence for Hawthorne. Over the centre he goes. The rain gets heavier. It's pelting down at the moment. Johnson at the back. He's kicked towards half forward. Oh, clever by uh, Lovell, but couldn't take the mark. Hand pass by Healy over the top. Collins under pressure. Threads out a beautiful hand pass to Dippy Domenico. Oh, this is like a tropical downpour at the moment. Morrissey threads out the hand pass to Hall. Hall from 55 metres. Breeze behind. Great kick, but offline. My word, and isn't that raining now? Woodman's been taken straight up to the rooms with what appears to be a serious arm injury, and uh, it could even be fractured. They doubt whether he'll be back on the ground. Well, that is bad news. Grinter gets the kick for Melbourne over the centre. Spalding, clever play. He plays on. Running onto this is Viney. He's too, got too much toe for them. Viney to the goal square. Oh, right on the line. It's knocked away by Langford. Michael Tuck. Member side with a kick. Yates, that's a good mark in the circumstances. Breezy ball now as he goes down towards the pocket. Williams on his chest. David Williams... He'll kick from about 45 metres out. A very acute angle. Good-looking kick. That's a magnificent kick. David Williams. First goal for the Demons. 10.45 and counting down. There's the boundary throw in. Steins wins it down. It's taken by Kennedy. High kick towards half forward. Brereton going back. Takes the mark on his chest. The luck of the draw there. Here is again. Dersma off balance then. And Burden safely on the chest. Good looking kick. It's a goal to Hawthorne there, second. Alan Joyce, coach of Hawthorne, looking on. It's his first year as a 
Senior's coach. Comes away to Viney. White is a chance here. Off the ground, will he? Well, Collins was first back there to rush it through. So Hawthorne's defence has been under pressure. The one. Steins thumps to the front. It goes to Grinter. Good distance with a hurried kick on the turn. Spalding's after it with Mew. Mew taps for teammates. Airs up from defence. They don't mind crossing lines, Hawthorne. To centre half forward, Steins a good mark. They're getting back well, Melbourne. Double teaming Dunstall on occasions. Steins towards the members' side. Collins, well played to Schwab. Platten, cleverly done. Platten from 55 metres, long kick towards full forward. Brereton. Yes, it's interesting. Fourth mark and all chess marks. And Brereton's just causing Dersma problems because he's dropping back. As we see it again, Dersma trying to play in front, but Brereton's just reading the kick better off the boot. And four Perhaps chess marks. The superstar of the VFL, Dermot Brereton. From 10 metres out, gets the goal. So two goals to Dermot Brereton from centre-half forward. And what a contribution at centre-half forward that is. It's interesting. We see Brereton back leading consistently on Dersma as the kick comes in. Knocked down by Steins. Love it as he pushed in the back. No free. Deep in the Medico. Just wards off Yates. But he's got the free kick for the high tackle initially. Goes in short. Spears the pass to Abbott. And Hughes belatedly arriving on the scene. Could well be 50. And I think the Hawthorne players have reason to be upset there, but they want to hang on to the footy. Yes, it's very true, Dennis. That he is giving him 50. Yes, good umpiring, umpire Sheehan. Of course, 50 metres have put him in the grandstand. Here's Abbott, point blank range. Another one for the Hawks. I don't think we'll see him back. Well, Hawthorne, a couple of goals in the last two minutes. And all of a sudden, they're 4-4 to one goal for. Melbourne into attack now. Spalding a good pick-up. Gets the hand pass away to Williams. And from 25 metres, he should have done better than that. There's a lot of players slipping. Michael Tuck slipped over then. which gave... Brilliantly picked up by Kennedy. He leads the charge with the clock running down. It's down to nine seconds as the ball bounces out of bounds. About 55 metres out from Hawthorne's attacking goal. And I think that could be the last action of the tour. Quarter time then. And Hawthorne lead this one, the grand final of the MCG, 28 to 11. And make sure that Melbourne don't get any easy kicks. Good, thanks, Drew. Ron Scott and Bernie Quinlan, two of the veterans of VFL football, both are well over 300 games. The bounce in the centre. And knocked forward by Steins, and he gets it about 40 metres out of the middle. Healy after it, but McGuinness first back there. His hand passes straight. Wilson has snapped the goal, but he couldn't bring it back far enough. And the ball goes out of bounds on the full. Just not quite pushed that 50 metre rule. They really have smothered up. Woods half forward with a kick. A lot of space down there for two Melbourne players. One of them took the mark. Greg Healy. Now he'll kick from about 50 metres out. You get the feeling at the present time that Melbourne needs something to spark themselves and this crowd. Hawthorne have taken the crowd out of the game so far. Healy long towards full forward. It's got the carry. Has it. New got his fingertips to it. It's a goal. You touched it over the line. Well, Dennis, perhaps that's the spark that needed. And who better than the captain, Greg Healy? Uh, Greg Healy just pushed him and the play goes on. Meantime, we're back with the play and Mew kicks up towards centre half forward. Dunstall hasn't had a touch as yet, but he's going to get a free kick here. Who led the goals for the season. Yes, and there's the push. You can see that hand just in edge of screen there. Certainly was a push to Jason Dunstall. One. 125 goals for the year. He kicks from 48 metres. Beautiful kick right through the middle. One kick, one goal. So the impetus Melbourne got with that first goal. It's just been quelled now by Hawthorne. Well, the free kick goal by Jason Dunstall could be very costly for Melbourne because really 17 points behind at quarter time wasn't too far behind. Off the ground by Schwab. It goes through the full forward. And at the back, Hughes is there for Melbourne. Under pressure, out of bounds on the full. Great start. Brereton putting on the pressure. Went off and forwards. Might uh, almost give it away in that situation. The breeze is right to left, so it further narrows a narrow angle. Will he use a check side or a banana kick? Straight. He has. Oh, oh what a goal! Third goal to Dermot Brereton, and he did just that. He used the check side, or as the Victorians say, banana kick. Alan Johnson. 
To half forward, Williams is there underneath the ball. Comes to the back to Mew. No great distance with that one. Morrissey and Dippy and Manico both went for it. Stein's great courage. Morrissey there for Hawthorne. And out of the starting blocks. Past Brereton it goes. Inside 50. Abbott's oh. there. Pulled to the ground by Hughes. Oh, lucky not to give away a free kick. Morrissey taps out brilliantly. Dippy and Domenico from 25 metres. Great kick. Oh. 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 How many times have you seen that throughout his career? A goal-kicking wingman. Morrissey did exceptionally well here to tap the ball on to Di Pierre Domenico and then had the presence to balance and kick truly. Yeah. Two-on-one situation. Yates needs to run hard to support his teammate. He comes over the top. Well done, Wilson to Yates. Yates from half-back towards half-forward. Spalding on a lead. Stretches every sinew to take the mark on his chest. Well, Spalding. Plays on, around you. Melbourne desperately need a goal. Long kick towards the kickoff line, but Gary Ayres, the Hawthorne vice captain, a starring role so far this afternoon, gets it out to Dippy Domenico. 11 possessions, Ayres. Dippy Domenico from halfback. Centre of the ground, Morrissey! Jamie Morrissey, a big leap. And they're kicking well into the breeze. Oh! oh Almost a great mark. It comes off hands to Abbott. Who goals? Two goals to Paul Abbott. As the Hawthorne pressure continues. That's a better looking kick. McGuinness gets a fist on it. Green in front. Gets it across to Platten. Quick exchange. Gives the ball to Dia. Pushed off the kick. Back comes McGuinness to Platten. Langford intended for Green. Showing courage. Yates held without it surely. No free kick. Pippi Dominico there was held without it. Again no free. Platten with courage, brilliantly done, gets it to Bacchanara, he tries to oh. hand it across to Kennedy, down with a Melbourne player in there, that was Lovett, crashing in Phoebe, in goes Steins, tackled by Kennedy, down he goes, it spills to Dia, but who's worked it forward? Hawthorne worked it forward, Ayres, it deserves a goal, it misses, but there is the secret, there is the story of Hawthorne. What a fantastic minute of play there, where they just absolutely forced the ball with brute strength, over about a 50 metre period. Lovett's in front and he takes the mark for Melbourne. Pops over a short one to Yates. They've had plenty of time at half back flank. Kick by Yates is smothered beautifully by New. And that's an example of how Hawthorne don't mind crossing lines. It happens. Lovett kicks down towards the pocket. <laughs> Gary is. Uncontested. Bacchanara is at right half back and away. Bacchanara, member's side with a kick, not a good one. It tumbles back towards Wilson. He dropped it, picked up by Morrissey, shrugs the tackle. Clever little hand pass over the top. Schwab now, Platten's in space. Platten running through the middle. Dunstall on a lead towards the pocket. He's yards, metres. However you want to step it out in front of Hughes. Jason Dunstall from the 50-metre line. A bad-looking kick. That's close. It's a goal. What a fantastic kick. What great play, really, from Hawthorne all the way up the ground. And it really did start from Gary Ayres again. This is disappointing for the big crowd. In excess of 100,000, we'd venture to say. At the present time, Hawthorne putting on something of a clinic, and Melbourne can't go with them. This is Johnson, socket off the ground by Morrissey. A stretch, a beautiful pickup, but Morrissey took it off him. And Morrissey goes for goal, which he so richly deserves. What a beauty! Hasn't he come alive in this second quarter, James Morrissey? And he really has been a lively player. Stretch tries to handball right-handed instead of left-handed. Gives Morrissey time to smother and then a great kick for goal. Dia trying to get it towards the boundary line. Guess who's got it? Ayres. Just breaking packs at will. A high kick comes back towards half-back flank for Hawthorne. Gathered by Phoebe. Hooks it around the corner. In front was Lyon. Deflection comes across to Greg Healy. Can it be a goal? Will it come back? No, it won't. They can't buy a goal, the Demons, at the present time. But no time left for Melbourne to get another score. And this has been a first half bath. Into Johnson. Long kick. Siren goes before a mark can be taken. That's it. Half time, 10 9 69 to 2 8 20. Umpire Brian Sheehan to start the second half.
It's a 49-point leeway for Melbourne to make up. Steins in the ruck against Deer. Deer a hand to it. Bacanara first onto it. Beaten to it by Lovell eventually. Pulled off the ball. Ayers gets it across to Morrissey. Threads out the hand pass and away they go again. Green to Dippy Domenico in front, but misses to the right. One down by Deer. Johnson. Stretch now. Great tackle again that time from Ayers. And still the tackling goes on. Healy got it across to Lovett though. Lovett goes towards centre half forward. Williams up in front. Couldn't take the mark. Lyon, an opportunity from 40 metres. Will it skip through? Yes, it does. First goal to Gary Lyon. And the first goal of the second half. Just under 21 minutes left in the third quarter. Collins kick over the centre. Steins again to Schwab. Schwab's kick to half forward. Dersma couldn't take the mark. It comes to the back to Green. Away to Bacanara. A centering kick for Dunstall. One out with Hughes. Too easy. And I think what the Melbourne are trying to do is get stretch up the ground and get some attack. As we see the pushing and shoving really going Dunstall's way. Jason Dunstall going for his third. No problem. Dersma. He's got a sense of humour. He kicks it back towards the fight. <laughs> Off hands, Wilson crawling after the ball. The Peter Minico to Ayers. Again, great composure. Bacanara into open space. What a kick, what a lead. Yes, and now Dersma on to Dunstall. Still can't stop those great skills of Bacanara. Kick from about 35 metres out, 45 degree angle. Simply too many good players to try and stop from Melbourne's perspective. Dunstall, a study in concentration. There goes the kick. It looks pretty good. It's another goal towards the Premiership. Helped out by youngster McGuinness. Into Schwab. Floodgate starting to open. Platten puts it out wide to Mew. Mew had options. Went for Morrissey. Morrissey centres with a long penetrating kick. Bacanaro chance. Oh, that was a good contest. Dersma did well to get it out of there. To Wilson. And now Melbourne on the rebound. Love it. But under pressure all the time. Had to give the ball away. Ball applied a tackle illegally. And it's going to be a free kick to Viney. Taken high without the ball. Here goes his kick. Towards half forward. Williams waiting behind. Tuck trying to knock it forward. Lovell gets it over the top to Williams. Fourth goal coming up. Williams misses. Oh, gee. Raise the post. The point side of it. This is over the ball now. Almost held without it. Wilson was carried forward in the tackle. The advantage will be paid. Jackson breaks away. Jackson's kick drops short. Bounces off the shins of White, who's been really a non-contributor today for Melbourne. There's Viney in there, paddling the ball on. Hawthorne putting up the wall. But it's whipped away by Flintoff. Another former Hawk. He gets the hand pass away. It drops short. But Williams will kick the goal this time. Two goals to David Williams. Two goals, three, in fact. Changes being made, I think, down there on the Melbourne bench. As Deer decisively wins it down. Brereton slipped over. Kennedy goes without it. Stretch goes in. Kennedy, I think, will get the free kick. So John Kennedy. It's remarkable that he's even there, you know. He's played only the last seven games of the season after having an irregular heartbeat. It was though maybe his career is finished. Here's a 50-metre penalty for John Kennedy. I think that was pretty harsh, really. I mean, it could have easily been. There were players all around the ball. So it makes his kick for goal almost a gift. 30 metres out. Close to missing. But two flags. It's the Demons 4-13. Kick in. Members side. White. Good, strong mark. White, Johnson, those sort of players need to fire up now for Melbourne. Healy, that was White's first mark of the afternoon. And a strong mark is taken down there by Lyon for Melbourne. Well, He's only about 10 metres out. Hasn't seen much of the ball this afternoon, as those figures indicate. Must get a goal here. Just under two minutes remaining in this third quarter. Lyon's kick is true. Second goal for Gary Lyon. Got one early in the first quarter. One and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Melbourne needed a lot more from their forays forward in this turn. Morrissey gets the hand pass back to Platten. The hair flows behind him, but he gets the kick away to centre half forward. Abbott, good mark. 
Great discipline play then by Hawthorne. John Platten hooked the ball back on the goal to goal line. They just do it so well they use the middle corridor for most of the game. Abbott going for his third. That's one in each quarter. So once again, Melbourne hit back with a goal. Then Hawthorne come back. Each time they've kicked goals, they've only kicked five. Hawthorne have hit back very hard immediately. Side steps White, long kick through centre. Brereton in best position, fisted away aggressively by Grinter. Well done by Deer, knocked it forward, taken by Hall, back to Deer. The big fellow nimbly through the centre, goes down towards the pocket. Back goes Abbott, can't keep it in. There's the siren. Three quarter time in the grand final at the MCG. The last quarter underway for about uh, 40 seconds. Tuck getting a short pass up the ground and green marks at right half forward for the Hawks. 100 plays 44. Hawthorne well in command. Brereton in front. Good mark. Three losses. Reads a lot better than 2 4. Brereton's kick comes back and goes right through. Oh. Marvellous skills. Just marvellous skills. We saw him kick that check side one in the second quarter. And John Kennedy, who kicked three goals last year in the grand final. Going oh. for his second today. Is that in the field of play? Yes, it is. Right on the behind line, the mark taken by Abbott. Well, this ball nearly jammed between the goalposts. Now, that's a 50 metre penalty. Because the man's over the mark, but of course, he's only about two metres out from goal, so it brings him right to the edge of the goal square. Oh, surely if there's a... It was Grinter being yeah. too close, but surely if it, if that's a 50-metre penalty, he should square him up to the goals. He did He did warn Grinter once, had a word to him. Well, he just walked in and kicked it. Four goals to Paul Abbott, one in each quarter. So now the three key forwards have all kicked four goals. Twelve goals those key forwards have kicked out of 16. So they have to be about three more kicks by going around the boundary line than straight up the middle. And the more you handle the ball, the more chance you've got of losing it. Schwab with two fist up. Comes to the front to Johnson, who's been swung forward. Stein's almost a good mark. Play on, says the umpire. Phoebe's there. Goes to Wilson. He gets free. Back to Johnson. And Johnson goals. which has been the story for every team which has come through the elimination final. Muse there in defence for the Hawks. Brereton, name written all over. The mark is paid. Advantage trying to be tried to be taken by Morrissey, but not off a mark. Brereton for number five. Oh, still oh. a chance. Abbott, he'll go for number five. His teammate said, thank you. Paul Abbott, right through the middle. So Drew, goal number five for Paul Abbott. To paraphrase all of that, he hit me. Here's Langford, the defensive side of centre wing, towards half forward. He is strong. Paul taking a very good mark to Pritchard. Pritchard goes looking for Dunstall. And Dunstall on a lead, about 40 metres out from goal, a chance to bring up his fifth. Very testing kick. Needs to start it right. Oh. Well, it comes back the other way. <laughs> That's his wrong end. Oh, brilliant game. 24 possessions for John Platten. And the fact that so many of them were here last year when they were beaten by Carlton, it'll be a great spur to them. In the goal square, Brereton! Oh. Yes! Oh. Sensational mark by Dermot Brereton. So could he kick his fifth? He's threatened with two easier shots. Brereton in front. That's five to him. We wanted front position. Simple as that. <laughs> of course, misfortune struck Alan Jeans. Alan Joyce took over as coach. Took over from a legend. He's done it his way this afternoon. Congratulations to him. The Hawks going for a record here. Abbott on the run. Can he kick his sixth? He can! And that is a record margin in a grand final. They might round it off and make it 88 in this bicentennial year, perhaps. Although they'd have to kick behinds to do that. They look like kicking more goals. Here's Bacanara popping it up for Dunstall. Easy! 
There's that little chip again, giving Dunstall some room. And really, where it's been Hawthorne star, you can't but admire Melbourne in getting here. Jason Dunstall for number six. There it is. And Melbourne will have to be careful that they don't get pumped by a century. They tell us the door is shut. They'll probably smile more. <laughs> Here's Abbott. 91 points is the margin. A minute and a half left. Two goals to make it a century. Collins up to half forward. Brereton. They're working it quickly. It's not beyond the realms of possibility. Brereton goes short. And inside 50, Pritchard pops oh. it for a oh, beautiful play. And Jason Dunstall on the point of the goal square. <laughs> Dunstall now going for number seven. He's got it. Three in this last quarter. Abbott's kicked three in this last quarter. Brereton two in the last two. Here's Gary Lyon. Forward of centre wing. Gets the spiral to go for him. Long down towards the kickoff line. Off hands. Opportunity for Melbourne. Taken by Wilson. Scrambles it through for a minor score. We're down to seven seconds. That will be the last action of the grand final. Hawthorne have won this premiership. Wait for the siren now. Wait for the reactions around this ground. Chris Mew has the ball. We're out of time in the grand final. Hawthorne, their seventh premiership in emphatic style this afternoon. John Northey, there'll never be a doubt about what happened this afternoon in his mind. Last year, the uncertainty after the preliminary final must have haunted him, but this afternoon, they were crushed. Absolutely crushed by one of the best football teams we've seen in this land for a long time. Three losses on the season, and in the VFL competition, that stands for much.